Good morning class. Topic for today is homophones. Look at Mickey and Ricky holding some words. I hear. I hear. What special about the words they are holding? In the words held by Mickey and Ricky, I and I and hear and hear sound the same. Many words in English sound the same. They are called homophones. Homophones are the words with different spellings but with the same sound. They also have different meanings. Means the words which have same sound but different spellings. Spellings are also different and their meanings are also different. They are called homophones. Words often confused. See examples. Ate. Look at the picture. He ate a sandwich. Ate. A-T-E. This ate is the second form of verb eat. See next. Eight. E-I-G-H-T. Eight. Number eight. Means I worked eight hours today. Clear? See the next picture. S-U-N. Sun. You know sun? The sun is shining. Next is S-O-N sun. My son is four months old. This sun means beta. Next is sale. S-A-L-E sale. The house is for sale. Clear? Second one is S-A-I-L sale. The sail has to catch the wind. Next one is Stairs. S-T-A-I-R-S. Stairs. There are a lot of stairs at my house. Means stairs means Syria. Next one is S-T-A-R-E-S. Stairs. This stairs means Gurna. She stares at me every day. Clear students? Next is hear. I can hear the baby cry. We hear with the help of our ears. Next is hear. The pizza is here. Here means yaha. Next word is waste. W-A-S-T-E. Waste means anything that we do not use and throw in the garbage that is called waste. Second one is W-A-I-S-T. Waste. Clear? This waste means kamar. See example, Cassie has a very thin waist. Next word is write. W-R-I-T-E. Write means likna. I like to write letters to my mom. R-I-G-H-T write. Turn right on Elm Street. Here right shows direction. Next is hair. H-A-I-R. Hair. She has long hair. Hair means baal. Sir ke baal. H-A-R-E. Hair. Means there is a hair in the garden. S-E-C. I can see you. C means dekhna. Next is C. S-E-A-C. C means samudra. I live by the sea. Next word is sum. S-U-M. Sum. The sum of three and one is four. Sum means addition. S-O-M-E. Sum. Sum means kuch. There are some bananas on the table. Students, I hope these homophones are clear to you. Now we will solve an exercise. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. See this exercise. First sentence. That is dash school. Two words are given in bracket. Which are those? R and R. Both sound same. Which word you will use here? That is R school. O-U-R. R. R means Hamara. Sentence two. 
Rapunzel had long dash, long hair. Which hair? H A I R. Next sentence. Dash have horns. Which deer? D double E R. Sentence four. I have to dash a letter to my grandfather. Which one? W R I T E. Right. Next one. I love fairy dash. Which tales? T A L E S. Tales means kahaniya. There are seven days in a dash. Which week? W double E K. Week. Week means hafta, saptah. And other week means kamzor. See seven sentence. The ship is sailing in the dash. With C will come S E A. Next sentence. Jyoti was standing dash. There. Which there? T H E R E. There means vaha. Clear? Tenth sentence. There is a dash in the bucket. Which hole will come here? H O L E. Hole means chain. And W H O L E hole means Sara. Clear? Eleventh sentence. I cannot dash you properly. Which here will come? H E A R. Last sentence. The bangle is dash of gold. Which made? M A D E made. And other made means servant. Clear students? I hope homophones chapter is clear to you. Now revise the chapter and do the book exercise in your book. Thank you.